guys this is Sony back with another video and today real quick guys I just want to share with you guys Nvidia's new GeForce now for Mac now if you are a Mac user you can still play game with the GeForce now all you have to do if you just wanted to try out like the GeForce now for now because Nvidia is still uh, you know trying out and see you know how it performs and stuff but what you can do I can leave a link in the description for you guys you guys can go to Nvidia's website and sign up for the uh, better version so basically what will happen, you put your first name, last name, uh, your email address and the system you have, so Mac, your age and you submit. And what Nvidia will do basically, they will send you a download link where you can download GeForce Now for Mac and also they will send you like a special code so you can activate the GeForce Now. Now, uh, let's just jump into the GeForce Now and show you guys real quick. So let's open GeForce now. So as you guys can see, so after you receive the email, you download and you activate with the special code. And then as you guys can see, there is a lot of games like Overwatch or Player Unknown Battleground. Uh, you guys uh, CSGO like uh, Counter Strike and Fallout 4. It's some cool game there. Now, uh, now mind you, you have to buy these games, okay? Only free games are here, uh, free to play, uh, Dota 2, uh, Unturned, and then uh, Warframe, and Heroes, and you know, Org. there are some games uh, free, they're not all that, but if you just want to try out, you can play these games, and trust me guys, the game plays really good, you know, I was playing, and for a moment, like, I was, like, I'll show you the games I have, but let me just go through, like, they have some multiplayer games here, uh, Rocket League, you know, all of you, you know, everyone likes that game. And uh, also we have some new games like uh, uh, Dart 4, okay, so you have to buy that game, uh, Dart 4. And then we have uh, Rise of Tomb Raider, uh, DSX, Mankind, you know, Resident Evil. So there are some cool games, you know, like, uh, there is like Witcher 3, I think I seen somewhere. Uh, uh, Witcher Wild Hunt, so, you know. And so basically I didn't purchase any game from there. Like, what I did... Uh, what you can do like you can go to your stream account but you cannot from stream account you cannot play any game you can play a certain game so these are the two game I managed to play because uh, basically they uh, the DSX mankind works uh, you know they have in their collection as you guys can see uh, right here so DSX mankind works from my G4 uh, my stream account and also the uh, rise of Tom radio works now, like I say, if you have others game in your stream uh, uh, stream account, it will work, but not every game will work. Okay, I try to um, I try to install uh, Dirt 3. It didn't work. So basically, what is happening? Like, if you are confused about GeForce now, so basically, GeForce now you are streaming game from Nvidia server, and they have some high end hardware there, like GTX 1080 Ti, GTX 1080. Uh, they have like high-end CPUs there, so that's the reason. Uh, even in streaming, you, you you can set the game to like ultra setting, and you can still play this uh, game at 1080p, or depend on what uh, you know monitor you have, like 2560 by 1440 or 4K. So let's just jump in one game. Before that, I'll just close the uh, the movie recording right here. Okay. And what we'll do basically right now, I'll run the benchmark for the rise of a Tomb Raider. Loading does take a little time, but it's, it's you know it's all depend on your internet speed. So they do recommend to have at least internet speed like 20, uh, 25 MB. So if you have like twenty five MB, it should be fine. I have like Verizon uh, files, you know, hundred by hundred. So if you have like anything less than twenty five MB, I think you will have some problem. Okay, let's just go to. Uh, option real quick so we are right now on uh, Tom, uh, Rise of Tom Reader so and then we go to graphics and as you guys can see uh, very high setting so you know what let's just go okay so everything very high as you guys can see and let's go to display and as you guys can see uh, 1920 by 1080 okay again we are 60 hard refresh rate because this monitor is only 60 hard all right and then uh, just go back and let's run the benchmark 
like I said guys, while, while you are like streaming game from a GeForce Now, you're not gonna feel like when you're playing the game, you're not gonna feel like you're streaming the game. While you're playing the game, you'll feel like, like you're playing from your own gaming PC. You know, you're not gonna see any lag, bug, or anything. You Like, just <laughs> work flawlessly. That's all I gotta say. Now, the system I have right now, I uh, recently built it. It's a, a budget Hackintosh. I have a Core i3, uh, 6100, 3.7 uh, gigahertz. Uh, uh, Corsair uh, Vengeance LPX 8 gig uh, DDR4 RAMs. I have a GTX 750 Ti, but for GeForce now I don't need uh, the graphics card. Like if I didn't even have the graphics card, it wouldn't matter. Cause like I say, we are streaming game. We are not using our hardware hardware to play this game. Right now, right now it's a little choppy because I'm capturing the screen. Okay, I have a screen capture on right now. Um, screen capture and with the uh, quick time that's the reason you, you guys might see a little chop uh, the game is a little chop but other than that works flawlessly all right guys as you guys can see uh, mountain pack uh, 190 frame minimum is around 43 and maximum is around 190 and mind you we are in uh, 1920 by 1080 okay overall guys overall score is average score is the 95 FPS that's really good so what I'm thinking if on 1920 by 1080 so in 1080 res if we are getting this this thing it, like they have a GTX 1080 there okay they're using a GTX 1080 in their server or something you know because this score is really good and let's just jump into those settings real quick again the options I want to show you guys the graphics setting again we had everything set a uh, very high so let's just jump into option and then uh, display so you guys can see 1920 by 1080 and if we go back to graphics as you guys can see everything set to very high so like I said they they have on their server like they have a 1080 Ti or a 1080 and it's really good guys they have some high-end hardware there so guys don't forget to check out uh, GeForce now for Mac uh, like I say I'll leave a link in the description for you guys you guys can sign up and you guys can check out and then let me know what do you guys think let me know in the comment below or what do you guys think if you have a Mac if you have uh, if you have like an older Mac Pro like uh, uh, 2009 and up or if you have like uh, you know MacBook Air MacBook uh, basically anything that runs at least uh, I think uh, Yosemite or up or El Capitan I think uh, should run uh, should run uh, GeForce now I could be wrong because I'm running the latest um, I'm not, so here is my spec, right? So I'm writing the latest uh, um, Mac OS Sierra 10.12.6, and as you guys can see, I have a Core i3 CPU with 8 gigs of RAM, and like I said, the graphics card really doesn't matter, and I have, I guess, 8 gigs. So guys, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any other questions, leave in the comment below, and make sure don't forget to check out GeForce Now for Mac for all the Mac user. Enjoy. You can.